Well, I always tell people, if you want to get rich, stay broke. When I started my company, I was broke. Too many, too many people are broke for so long when starting a business that as soon as they get a little bit of success, their mind switches and they're like, I'm tired of being broke, so I'm going to hold on to it and I'm going to stop doing the things that got me to success. How did you start managing the money? You started making profits, you started getting customers, you started, you started getting people to buy your service. Yep. Mentally speaking, and financially speaking, how did you reinvest that money? How did you spend that money? How, how did it go for you? What, what, what was your process? Well, I always tell people, if you want to get rich, stay broke. What that means is, when I started my company, I was broke. I started it with no money. Matter of fact, there were times I had to park my car four blocks away so the repo guy wouldn't get it, because I needed a car. Um, and so ultimately, it's all about how, like when I would park my car four blocks away, it was just common sense, like I don't want them to take it. If they come by my house, they'll take it. So I parked it away. Well, why did I do that? Well, because I needed a car. So common sense is obviously part of it, but ultimately, when it boils down to it, you just have to, it, it was more of a, it was more of a tenacity thing. Now, what was your question again? Yeah, getting money, when you, you get money oh, yeah, coming oh, yeah. in. How, how, do you, how do you flow that money? Yeah, yeah, because this is important. So what I did was, so I was broke, and ultimately, I finally got it to where I got about 10 grand a month. Now, 10 grand a month, when you don't have any money, is a lot of money. And so I'm thinking, man, 10 grand a month, this is awesome. Yeah. I, I could have went and got a better apartment. I could have started buying furniture. I could have started eating steak instead of Top Ramen. I could have went and got a nicer car. Yeah. But when I got to 10,000, I took five of it and I hired somebody. And I said, you and I have to get back to 10. And so now there was two of us to get back to 10. And then when I got back to 10, I'd grab five of it and I'd hire a third person. And when I got back to 10, I'd take five of it and I'd hire another person. So ultimately I just kept reinvesting the money by taking the money and staying broke and putting it back into the business yeah. to scale and grow. Right. And then, you know, it would take a month to get back to 10, then, you know, a, 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 a week to get back to 10, then a day to get back to 10. Yeah. And pretty soon, if I didn't do that, because yeah. most people, they get a scarcity mindset. They're broke for so long that when they finally start making a little money, they want to hold on yeah. to it and they want to hold it. Right. When in reality, money is a tool. If you don't use it, right. it's useless. Right. So fortunately, and again, I, no one taught me to do it. I just inherently instinctively it yeah it that. was an instinct I just I, you know once I started making a little money I took it and I hired somebody and then when I made a little more I took it and I hired somebody so I just kept reinvesting and I didn't know to do that I just did that and looking back it's like that's one of the things that helped too many too many people are broke for so long when starting a business or starting an MLM or starting you know a new in, uh, uh, venture yeah. that as soon as they get a little bit of success their mind switches and they're like, I'm tired of being broke, so I'm gonna hold on to it and I'm gonna stop doing the things that got me to success instead of doubling down.